Good morning to you. Happy Friday. If you've enjoyed the last few days or so, you've got some pretty nice weather in store for the next several days. A couple of things though, I do want to make you aware of when it comes to our conditions for the weekend. I'm going to get to that in a second, but I do want to give you the latest information on Ian. Uh, likely will make landfall later in the day. Today remains a hurricane, Reca regained its strength as a hurricane. Maximum sustained winds are up to 85 miles per hour. Likely once it makes landfall will weaken pretty quickly. And the good news here is it will continue moving and not dump too much rain. If it were to slow down, down, that would be a concern, but as long as it keeps moving up the east coast, uh, we'll spread some of the uh, rain around and won't have as much flooding. We will likely see some flooding, but maybe not as much as what uh, it could have been if it were much slower. Let's talk temperatures because really it's just a numbers game. We're also going to talk a little bit about some of the winds here, and I'll get to that in a second, but 50 for midway. We've had relatively light winds overnight. The city staying much warmer. We've got some 40s and a few 30s showing up, but not as many 30s as yesterday morning, meaning it's just a little bit milder, and that's really the key to our forecast. Each day we're getting a little bit milder as the sunshine is modifying this air mass, but really it is nothing but sunshine for today. High temperatures into the mid to upper 60s. You will have an east wind that will kick in as the day goes on. In fact, it will become a little bit more of a northeast wind, and this will really become our dominant weather maker here over the next couple of days or so. Today you don't see as much of an impact, but the water temperatures are running right around 65 degrees or so, so that is going to have a moderating influence, and what I mean by that is overnight it keeps you warmer, but during the day it keeps you a little bit cooler. And you'll see that when I show you future temperatures here. Watch the areas right along the lakefront. During the daytime, they stay a little bit cooler than maybe some locations trying to get to 70 degrees. We'll kind of split the difference and call it 67 or so for our daytime high, but you see there is a good bit of variability. And then overnight, you stay a little bit milder. Everyone else is trying to cool down into the 40s and 50s. Meanwhile, you stay into the mid to upper 50s along the lakefront, maybe even close to 60 degrees, so it's going to have that moderating influence. And then for Saturday, kind of the same thing. I'm going to put upper 60s for our daytime high, but how quickly that wind kicks in will really determine what this number actually gets to. I think everyone will stay in the 60s over the weekend, not just for Saturday, but even into Sunday. It is going to be a bit on the breezy side, and that will likely pick up some of the waves by the time we get into late Saturday and even into Sunday. So be very careful if you're going to the lakefront. The waves may be on the higher side, but you get very quiet conditions until we get to Thursday, and then it does look like the temperatures will cool down. We'll add some clouds back into the forecast. Audrina. All right, Rob.